Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In this video today, we are going to be reviewing the latest SBCs that are available on the game. So for this, I'm going to go through absolutely everything. I'm not going to go through, like to be honest, the um, hybrid nations and stuff like that. But in terms of all the players, uh, foot swap type stuff that are out, I'm going to go through them all and talk about them and say which ones I think are worth doing, which ones I don't think are as good. And a general point for SBCs are there's like certain criteria on how I will judge whether I'll do an SBC or not. Um, but we'll get into that. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of video, helping you get better at the game, more knowledge of the game, player advice, please subscribe to the channel. We're nearly at the 40,000 sub back. I appreciate the support. But when it comes to SBCs, the criteria that I look at is going to be a few things. The first is going to be cost. How expensive are these SBCs? Is it so expensive that it's just not worth it? Okay, I'm just not going to do it. Then the second thing is, will it even fit in my team? So this card here, for example, Milos De Dejanek, it is actually, honestly, a pretty good card. This guy, if I was putting him in my defender tier list, honestly, he's probably like A tier. He's got good weak foot. He's tall. He's very agile, really quick. Solid defending. That defending maybe pushes him to B tier, to be honest. That 78 defensive awareness is pretty poor, and it's a key stat. Um, but he's a very good physical. Like, this is a good card. But when I look and see that, is that MLS? Yeah, MLS and Australian. The only real link in there is Timmy Cahill. So this guy just ain't getting into my team, and I'm never really going to be able to fit him into his team. Plus, it's one of these Path to Glory cards. Australia lost the first game. They're probably not getting out of the group, so that card's probably never upgraded. So, like, look at the SBC. Does it have room to upgrade? Can you fit it in your team? How long will it last in your team? So, a card like this, Quadrado, I look at this card and I'm thinking, pretty decent on the card itself in terms of nightfall pace, night dribbling. Not great weak foot, but great skill moves. Very versatile, which is important in terms of the positions they can play. And then I look and I'm like, is this guy an attacker? Probably not, because of the weak foot. Um, you can't get 99 pace unless you leave some of his technical stats. Don't worry, he would be good at right mid, but he doesn't have the Traveller shot. He has a bad weak foot. But then I'm seeing like he's a right back. Now, with a right back, if I make him a, uh, give him an anchor chem style, he gets 98 pace. He's great on the ball. One of the best, he probably is the best right back in the game in terms of dribbling. His passing's good. Not like the shooting bars, but it's a benefit, like he can shoot. He's got solid enough defending, pretty good physical. This Quadrado is one of the best right backs in the game right now. If I was to rank him, he's a top three to five right back. So he could last a long time in your team if you've got a Serie A team. Or compare it to some of the other cards you have. Do you have like that featured Moyes Keen? Do you use Rule Breaker Benucci or that out of position Chiesa? Do you have ways of linking the card in? Because this card's got some good links in terms of Juventus. But if you try to link him in and you don't have Juventus players or don't run much Serie A, you're not really going to use a Colombian player. I don't think there's really any great Colombian players. The next best is maybe um, the Falcao SBC. The FIFA World Cup Challenge front. So they get a lot of these SBCs where it's basically just you have to get certain requirements and a certain rating. So it's an 8 rated. I don't end up doing a lot of these. They probably are worth doing a lot of these though in terms of just the packs are worth the rewards, especially if you have a lot of untradeable stuff. When we look at these, <coughs> where it's like the kit, I only do the kit if I like it. That's pretty simple. Now, SBCs like this, an 86 team of the week, an 84 rated squad's not that expensive. But for me, 86 in forms aren't worth a lot as well. And I, when I'm looking at should I do these SBCs or not, I'm like, how many like actual good cards are there? So if we look at the team of the weeks... Mbappe, De Bruyne, Salasson, Neymar, Mane. So we're at five. No, six. Uh, just Marquinhos, Haaland, eight. Cancelo, nine. Strunk, Tamori, ten. Theo Hernandez, eleven. Ben Yedder, twelve. Liao, thirteen. So there's 13 of these cards that I'd be fairly happy to pack. Maybe some people would be up for more. But if we look how many there actually is, 3, 8, 13, 23, 33. There's like 
here there's like 43 cards. Maybe 13, 14 because there's two sellers. 13 or 14 that I'd actually want to pack. So a third of, there's only a third of the options available that I'd actually want to pack. And most of those are going to have way less pack odds. So the odds of getting someone I really want is probably like 5 to 10%. So I'm not going to waste my fodder on that. I'd rather save for something else. Nack Williams. This card itself, decent, but he's not going to get any upgrades. Bad week, for not five-star skills. Why do I be bothered about that? This Robbie Keane. Now, he is good, but he's not elite, elite to the point that I would definitely want to do this card. I mean, to be fair, you can get him 98 pace, 99 finish, and 95 shot power with that weak foot. I just think a card that's not five-star, five-star, and links perfectly or helps a lot with my chemistry for the rest of the year. And he's not at the top end. <clears throat> I'm not spending 800k. He's probably even gone up in price, to be honest, since um, uh, you need high-rated squads and that World Cup heroes put it up. So I wouldn't want to do him. But if you really like a card, you can always just fight best on that. The icons, none of the ones so far have been any good. This Ribbery SPC. I'm going to get footman up, to be fair, so we can actually look at what the current prices are saying for these. Let's have a look. Ribbery... So Ribbery right now is 500k. You do have to bear in mind that some of these SBCs do fluctuate in price based on the price of fodder. So some of these, like Ribbery, what do you need for him? You need an 88 rated squad. That's going to be more expensive right now than usual because of that World Cup hero. So if some of these SBCs like Ribbery, that was five days, wait a few days for the price of fodder to go down and then do the SBC when it's cheapest. This Ribbery is one of the best SBCs we've had though so far. French. Five star, five star. Like for me, he's better than Robbie Keane because he's um, got Serie A French, which is nice. The Premier League from Robbie Keane's nice, but it's his nationality. French is a top nation, and five star, five star is really big. David Silva, decent, but not good enough that I'd be too excited. If you like David Silva as a player, you could fit him in your team. He's got decent chemistry in Spain, La Liga, and it's a pretty usable card. <clears throat> I say we're not looking at the icons and on a two X side. These player of the months, just compare it to the cost of one to watch or in Forbes. They're rip-offs a lot of the time. Almir on same. Leal same. Now this Terrier, I should probably do him because he's, what, an 83 rated squad, is it? So this Terrier is costing... You need two 85s to be fair. Terrier's costing 20k. But then let me look at what the cost of an 87 is. An 87 right now is costing 17k. But you have to bear in mind, you can put untradeable fodder into this. That are like 83s that are barely worth anything. And then you basically can get this card for very cheap. And he's a good 87 fodder for a future SBC. So I need to do this one. That's a good SBC to do. Sometimes you will get SBCs like that. that are just no-brainers. Now we've got a lot of swaps ones here. Uh, we'll just go look at the swaps themselves. We'll see if there's any other SBCs other than the swaps. Or is it literally just the swaps for the rest of it? Okay, there's quite a few cards here, but like most of these at this point, you can already know if they've got their upgrades or not. Most of these aren't too excited. Um, yeah, we'll go look at the um, <coughs> swaps. So we'll start at the bottom. Now, a lot of these cards, I'm not going to spend ages looking for them because I've already done a video on that. But you really need to just basically pick, are any of these cards ones that ex actually excite you and would fit into your team? So like... These guys are just going to be so hard to fit in your team. Like, is this card good? Sure, it's okay. But it's Turkish League, like, not a great card, never fitting them in. So if these cards that just don't have any chemistry to fit in, why would you ever do them? Do you know what I mean? Like, they're just a waste. Unless you're from that nation or you just really like one of these players, if you're a massive Reggie Cannon fan by some chance. I do is not a bad one, to be fair, for really cheap. These are three swaps. Some of these players might be ones you do if you have a few swaps left over. But most of these players, for the most part, are just not too exciting. Like, even this one. 
not got a weak foot, can't pass, not good on the ball. Like, I don't get why people would get most of these. These are where we start to get more exciting. Like this Danilo Pereira, CDM centre mid, Portuguese, PSG, very good overall card. Like then you start to look at combinations now. So like 84 times 20 pack. A lot of people are probably going to end up doing that pack. Uh, that pack. So they have 30 and then maybe one of these like path to glory player picks. So could be interested in terms of that. This path to glory player pick. That might be worth doing when it comes to um, the end of the World Cup. That's available in 41 days. If you do the path to glory player pick at the end of the World Cup, when there's five options, you'll actually know by then which cards have had the upgrades or not. That could be a good option. I was pretty adamant at first I was going to do um, Patrick Vieira. But at this point, I'm kind of like, do I really want to do him or not? I'm not 100% sure. It's a great card. But on this game now, being really good on the ball seems to matter a lot. And he's pretty clunky, bad weak foot. I'm not sure he's as meta as I was thinking. Um... There's a genuine chance that I could end up doing this, the 84x20, because I think that's great. This path to glory near the end of the World Cup. And uh, maybe the 84x20, so I could have 4 8 times 20 That gives me a load of fodder to do a really good SBC in the future. And this path to glory one, there's a very good chance that you end up getting one of the very top cards then. You'd get very unlucky to not get a good card in that anyway, would be my opinion. That's my view of all the SBCs at the moment. We might be getting a messy SBC later tonight. If we do, I will do a video on it. I appreciate you guys' support. As always, keep it spicy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.